and welcome to Story Corner with Macmillan. My name is Yvonne and I'm going to tell you a story. And our story is in the deep dark wood. And in the deep dark wood there are lots of trees. And in the trees we have five animals. Now the first animal in the deep dark wood is very small. He has a long tail, a little nose and sticky up ears. Can you guess? I'm going to help you. The sound he makes is You are right, it's a mouse. And this is our little brown mouse. The second animal, he is a little bit bigger. He has a big bushy tail. He has pointy ears and whiskers. But he also has four paws. No, it's not a dog, but that's a very good answer. He makes this sound. Arp, arp, arp. Yes, you are right. It's a fox. And this is our fox. Now the third animal He's very big and he has stripes. Can you guess? No, it's not a tiger, but that was a really, really good answer. This animal is also very long and he makes this sound. Can you do the sound with me? Yes, you're right. It's a snake. Let's make the sound again. Now the fourth animal has beautiful wings. It also has very big eyes and a little beak and tiny ears. This animal likes to fly around the deep, dark forest. Can you guess? No, it's not a bat, but that was a really, really good answer. This animal likes to say, twit woo, twit woo. Can you do that noise with me? Twit woo, twit woo. Yes, I can hear you say it. it's an owl. It's an owl. And this is our owl. Now the fifth animal, he is very, very special. He is very big and he's very fat. Can you guess? And he has a very deep voice. No, it's not a bear, but that was a really good answer. Think again, another big animal. No, it's not an elephant, but this animal does have tusks, just like an elephant. He has terrible tusks and he has terrible teeth in his jaw. He also has big orange eyes and a black tongue. He also has a green poisonous wart on his nose. He has terrible claws in his paws. And he has knobbly knees and sticky out toes. He has purple prickles running down his back. 
Do you know who this is? Yes, you're right. It's the Gruffalo. So our story is in the deep, dark wood. And one morning, the little brown mouse was walking in the deep, dark wood. And as the little brown mouse was walking, he could hear a sound. Oh, oh! Can you remember what animal that was? Yes, you're right. It's the fox. And the fox saw the mouse and thought, that mouse looks good. Hello, mouse. Where are you going? A mouse thought, hmm, I'm waiting here by the rocks to meet my friend the Gruffalo. And Fox said, The Gruffalo, the Gruffalo, come with me to my underground lair and have lunch instead. <gasps> Mouse said, don't you know the Gruffalo? He has big orange eyes and a black tongue. Ooh. He has terrible tusks and terrible teeth in his jaw. Oh, said the fox. And his favourite food is roasted fox. Roasted fox! Roasted fox! And so the fox ran away. And the little brown mouse said, Silly fox, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a gruffalo. And he continued in the deep dark wood. And then he heard another sound. Can you remember that sound? Yes, you're right. It's the snake. And the snake saw the mouse and thought, hmm, that mouse looks good. Good. Mouse. Where are you going, mouse? Come and have lunch with me in my log pile house. And the little brown mouse said to the snake, Thank you, snake, that's very kind, but I have to stay here. I'm waiting for my friend, the Gruffalo. The Gruffalo? Who is the Gruffalo? Don't you know, said the mouse, about the Gruffalo? Well, he has a big green wart on his nose and purple sticky out spikes down his back. And he has knobbly knees and toes that stick out. But his favorite food, said the little brown mouse, is scrambled snake. <gasps> scramble snake, scramble snake. And the snake slithered away. And the little brown mouse thought, silly snake, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as the gruffalo. And he continued walking in the deep, dark wood. And then, 
owl came down. An owl saw the mouse and thought, the mouse looks good. Twitoo, twitoo. Can you do the noise with me? Twitoo, twitoo. So the owl said, Hoo, where are you going? Hoo, little mouse. And the little mouse said, I'm waiting for my friend, the Gruffalo. Who? Come with me to my treetop house. And we can have lunch. So the mouse said, Well, thank you, Owl. That's very kind. But I'm waiting for the Gruffalo. He has terrible tusks. And he has terrible claws. He has knobbly knees and sticky out toes. He has purple spike and he has a big green poisonous wart on his nose. And his favourite food is owl ice cream. Oh, owl ice cream. So the owl flew away and the little mouse said, silly owl, don't you know, there's no such thing as the Gruffalo. And so mouse continued the journey into the deep dark wood and then there was a sound, boom. Boom, boom, and along came the Gruffalo with his terrible tusks and his orange eyes, his sticky out teeth in his jaw, his knobbly knees and his terrible claws and his big green wart upon his nose his purple prickles and his sticky out toes. It's the Gruffalo! Who is it, everybody? It's the Gruffalo! Hello, Gruffalo! You look good to me, said the Gruffalo. My favorite meal is mouse on toast. So the mouse thought, oh no, it's the Gruffalo. But doesn't he know I'm the cleverest animal in the wood? Oh, Mr. Gruffalo, what can I say? I want you to walk my way, said the Gruffalo. Okay, said the mouse, but can't you see I'm the cleverest little mouse in the deep dark woods? So as they were walking, they heard a noise. And the fox popped his head up and he saw the mouse and he saw the Gruffalo and he said, I'm not staying and he ran off. The mouse was too frightening for me. See, said the mouse, can't you see? I'm the scariest animal in the deep, dark wood. Let's continue, said the Gruffalo. And they continued to walk. And they heard a sound. Sssss. Can you remember what animal that is? And yes, you're right, it's a snake. And he popped up his head. And he saw the mouse. And he saw the Gruffalo. And he said, Sssss. I'm going, I'm going. And he slithered away. And the little mouse said, can't you see? I'm the cleverest and scariest animal in the deep dark wood. Can you remember the next animal? Twit woo, twit woo. And down from her treetop house came the owl. And she saw the Gruffalo and ran away. And the mouse said, can't you see? Everybody is scared of me. 
The Gruffalo trembled and the Gruffalo shook. He forgot about having his mouse on toast. You are indeed the scariest animal that there can be, said the Gruffalo. And the Gruffalo decided to run away. Boom, 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 boom. So the little mouse thought, silly Gruffalo, can't he see? I'm the cleverest little mouse in the deep dark wood. And he found his nut and ate it. Thank you for joining me with Story Corner at Macmillan. And tomorrow we will have another story for us to listen to. Bye.